set time to be holy. Speak off with thy love. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitted for service aboard. Jesus' name we pray. Our Divine Father, we thank and worship you. You have used your daughters to awaken us. We are rose. We bless you. It's wonderful. Actually, it's wonderful. You are going to do wonders among us. These women that are before you have not known yet that you are going to do great wonders among them. But you will do it, Lord. You will use them in a wonderful way. You will achieve your purpose through them. Thank you, Father. Take over and let us go. Be with us as we speak for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is revival time for the world. Arise and play your part. It is revival time for the world. Arise and play your part. We are in a crucial time in the world, the history of the world. Something special to God's people and dreadful to sinners is about happening. Maranatha the Lord is coming. I want you to turn to your left and to your right and greet your sister. Greet your brother that is by you over there too. The Lord is coming. Amen. This shall cease to be sayings that appear to have no meaning. It shall be a saying with meaning. For it is certain that this generation will witness the coming of the Lord face to face we shall not die we shall be the, re the generation that shall welcome Jesus in the rapture yeah. and I give you beloved a congratulation greeting because you are among those that shall see the Lord come and shall be transformed. What a grace 
the Lord has shown you. That the Lord has laid his hand upon you. That the Lord has taken interest on you. That you will be among those he is coming to take up to heaven. In the book of Revelation chapter 22. Verse 12, 13, and 22. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Let us read verse 20 together. One, two, go. He who testified this thing said, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Yes, in the days when this sign shall be fulfilled rapidly, you will see the Lord follow immediately. So, even the righteous ones in the world are praying for his coming. They are saying, Lord, Come quickly. The saints that are in heaven are also praying and say, Lord, how long will it be that our brethren shall come and join us up? Revelation chapter 6. Verse 9 and 10. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they, they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge? and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth. How long? They are sighing. When will you judge the devil and end up everything? And in verse 11, and white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled there is a sign in heaven these of course shall be the days of tribulation but even now our brethren that have gone up to heaven are sighing for us on earth to come up and join them for the judgment of God to come upon Satan, come upon sinners, and the chapter of all these things should be closed up. The word of God confirms the events of our time as, in, as showing that they are events indicating the coming of the Lord and that he will come quickly. Now that the events are fulfilling rapidly, in quick succession, in this our generation, sure, the Lord is following. We are seeing the fig tree. We are studying the fig tree. And we are seeing our signs. We know by studying the fig tree that this is the time. The Lord is coming for his people. The Holy Spirit, Spirit's revelation, and
and divine visitations have shown it to us in our time our dreams and the sighing of our spirits and others all confirm that our time is the time now you are here you had a dream of the rapture that the rapture took place you have that dream maybe even recently can you raise up your hand you got the dream that the rapture had taken place that's the language of the spirit can you quickly stand up let them see the crowd of many witnesses just in this meeting only just in this meeting only can you see can you wave that, those hands that the people should see that you're not only standing but a crowd of many witnesses that's the language of the spirit thank you sit down we praise God remember the message the Lord gave you in that dream and make sure you meet the standard to go to heaven revelations of all kinds are meeting us telling us the same thing the Lord is coming the Lord is coming this movement is raised up with the same message that it is the ark of Noah the ark of Noah appeared at the close of the age it was that that was providing final salvation to mankind before destruction would come and so this movement came up with that prophecy the prophecy was following us I and mean, is following us everywhere by the lord himself manifesting this thing everywhere and the message to us is as you see churches rise and fall don't think this movement will as it is rising now shall fall no it shall continue until the cloud of the Lord will envelop it it is divine plan it is prophecy the prophecy has been coming it has even been before the movement started physically and it's continuing you will hear more testimony that's what it is so we are preaching with the consciousness that our generation is the generation of his coming i am preaching with the consciousness that i shall not die i shall be alive and and make it in the rapture maybe the dream the lord gave me in 1995 will come to pass in this ministry when i was leading a group of people and we over the demons were bowing before us as we were singing triumphantly suddenly there was a rapture well, there was a rapture we flew up it might fulfill praise the lord and so you who are not ready get ready this revival that you are seeing now this revival shall fill the world this little thing you are seeing the little fire that has just been kindled that you are a witness it shall fill the whole world the Lord himself is going to do it yes he will do it and then the end shall come for this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world yes the spirit is doing it the lord is raising up spirit inspired me to do it and the lord has raised up special group like us to fulfill it i want you to get ready be aware that revival these are the days of final revival and thank god that the lord has called women the lord has called jew to be part of this 
busyness of the end time you are to rejoice that's why i told you this is not a place of sorrow that you found favor to be among this special group special people called by god from various nations various tribes various churches various denominations to to train you and put fire in your life for end time revival you must be grateful to the most high these are the days of revival it is revival time for the whole world because the lord is coming but then there is the challenge could god be coming so quickly so suddenly and the world is uninformed the world is not conscious the world around you is not conscious that the lord is coming the nation your nation is not conscious the people in your community are not conscious that the lord is coming they are never the government of the nations don't talk about it they are not informed it is not in their agenda that jesus is coming this is a terrible ignorance but don't join them in this ignorance don't in the book of matthew chapter 24 matthew chapter 24 i want to read verse 36 matthew 24 from verse 36 then the bible tells us saying but of that day and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only but as the days of noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be for as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that noah went into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be can you see in the days of noah when Noah was announcing and preaching that the world would be destroyed with water. Water is coming to destroy the world. Water is coming. The Bible said the people didn't bother. It, they were not even conscious of it. They were eating and drinking, planning on marriage, marrying, doing many projects of their life. They didn't know anything about it until suddenly water struck out water began to pour down from the sky and spring up from the ground it was just then they became conscious but the people that were informed were in the ark already the people that were informed they were in the ark already while these people were wallowing struggling for the last time like the five foolish virgins the five wise virgins had entered in to meet with the bridegroom it is my prayer for you you'll be among the five wise virgins that although the, the world lies in ignorance you will be conscious 
you will be fully alert of the coming of Jesus and you will remain in the ark I say you will remain in the ark righteousness and holiness shall be your portion in Jesus name ignorance your brother is ignorant of this thing your sister is ignorant of this thing your mother is ignorant of this thing your father is ignorant of this thing your neighbor is ignorant of these things it's a hard thing but thank god you know maybe like noah you are crying you're shouting you're preaching they don't appear to hear the fact that they don't they despise it does not mean it shall not happen it shall surely happen keep yourself keep yourself when lord could not gain anybody in sodom he gained himself when lord could not even recover his son's in-law in sodom he was able to recover his family he was able to recover them although the wife got lost but he recovered himself and his two daughters so while you're preaching you're telling them this and they hardened their heart or laughed at you in their foolishness still ensure you recover yourself that you remain in the ark challenge we're having about the ignorance of the world around us again challenge see the Lord is coming see him at the door it's just like it's examination time we are in the room everybody having his paper but here was a precious frame of years a precious one that was not in the class and the examiner is coming in already coming in with the papers to share your friend has not come up you're wondering what's happening where's uh, where has she gone to why and the examiner is coming now your friend has not come that's the situation the lord is coming the lord is already coming but here is the challenge what is that the backsliding church the church is backsliding and yet the lord is coming what they are doing have no bearing with the lord yet the god of the church is coming to take his people where are they where is your mother which church has she got herself lost in where is your brother which church has he got himself lost in when the lord is already coming where are your children what is your husband delaying? Which church has carried his attention away? At this time that the Lord is coming. At this time. The challenge. The church is backslidden. In Luke chapter 18. Luke. Chapter 18. The Bible says, verse 7 and 8, verse 7 and verse 8, And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Though he be along with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, 
shall he find faith on the earth I'm telling you and let yet look at him coming look at him already at the door where is faith now the faith of righteousness shall he find it where 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 is it found where is faith now the faith of holiness where is it found shall he find faith lord this issue is painful to the heart of your children that you are coming for the church you founded for more than 2000 years ago and it is at the time there is backsliding backsliding in the church it is at the time there is corruption everywhere the people are into various activities that has no that have no bearing with god shall he find faith in the in the world not only in a city the matter has become a world issue it's a world issue country to country the church is backslidden the church is turned off the church is doing other things what is going on has no bearing with the holy god has no connection with the holy god yes has no connection it's at this time can you see so it's a challenge it's a challenge a big challenge the true faith for righteousness holiness and heaven is disappearing from the churches the ministers have gone into errors heresies and covenant with satan the few godly ones are in heavy persecution the few the remnant the few little ones they are struggling after them they are struggling working hard to make sure they extinguish the fire that's the state of the earth challenge satanic activities on the earth at the time the Lord is coming Satan is more conscious of the shortness of time than many of us more conscious he, he understands the times than many of us he knows he reads it he reads the handwriting they, they're spiritually designed so satan reads the handwritings and knows this is the time the time and so he is working very hard he is working very hard satan has assigned somebody over your life to ensure you don't make it he has done everything he, uh, he, rose, he raised up people against this movement. He wanted to strike this movement down from the beginning. It didn't work. He planned many strategies against this movement, against the leadership. It's not working. And they're still sitting down in their drawing board. What other methods are we to implore? What other force? Are we to use to stop this work that's their plan satanic activities everywhere our faith is in our God our faith is in our God the 
that's why I say members of holiness movement don't be don't boast over this matter it's not a matter of pride because it's not of man it is not the name that saves but the grace of God in it not the name it is not even the person ah there's the, the man God has given us a holiness movement the small man standing here it goes beyond that it's God himself it's grace it's grace I once told us that the way I am the way the movement is we are the third captain and his 50s the first captain and his 50s came to Elijah when he was on the mountain man of God thus says the, the king come down now Elijah said if I be a man of God let fire come from heaven and consume you and your 50 fire came and consumed him and his 50s the second captain came with his 50s he didn't learn his lessons he was proud he thought the matter was in uniform he thought the matter was the king earthly king human being the power of the king he came to Elijah man of God does yet the king come down quickly the man of God said if I be a man of God let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 fire came from heaven and consumed him and his 50s and then the king kept on sending because the thing is not himself is it the one dying so he kept on sending he said he sent the third man the third man was like myself rather i am i am like him he came with humility nothing to be proud of in this life not the uniform he was wearing not the powers he welded as one that the king sent no he came with a different spirit having learned from group one group two that they all perished he came in a different way I am passing a different spirit into your life the spirit of carefulness the spirit of humility I am putting the contrite spirit into your heart that the Lord the Lord will not ignore the contrite ones that the law seated in the holy place with them that have a contrite spirit and a humble heart receive humility in your life that is the spirit of victory it is the spirit that will take us up to heaven because the church has backsliding all about us we are seeing backsliding everywhere holy churches the boasted of their holiness they are serving satan they have failed and we came in a different spirit and we say lord suffer our life that whatever is the wisdom of the devil whatever is the power of the devil i the captain of the 50 and my 50 shall never die we shall make it to the rapture there shall be no corruption here there shall be no decay here until we shall see our lord with broken spirit with contract spirit with humility with a full obedience we shall serve the lord yes satanic activities the bible tells us in revelation chapter 12 verse 12 it says revelation chapter 12 i read verse 12 the Bible tells us saying therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knew it that he had but a short time if, if you see the eyes of Satan is burning red over holiness movement is burning red over the leaders 
is burning red over you that agree with the message that accept the message because he said ah, who are you i have pulled down many wounded i have cast down many wounded great churches i have put them in their corner who are you let the lord answer him i say let the lord answer satan hallelujah hallelujah the lord will answer the devil the lord will answer the devil the lord will describe us to the devil he is in us the greater one he will answer the devil in the name of jesus and the devil shall fall i said the devil shall fall my confidence is this abraham made it to heaven sarah made it to heaven joseph made it to heaven moses made it to heaven paul made it to heaven peter made it to heaven mary made it to heaven timothy made it to heaven we are going there i say we are going there we are going there if the devil caused or hindered all of them from making heaven is then we have no hope if it is just human beings of our generation they missed it because of pride they missed it because of their carelessness they missed it because of greed they missed, missed it because of whatever it, they, they, they did that was of the flesh we are the sparrows that say since the devil is catching everybody we shall fly without patching he will never go to get us i say satan will never get us sister hold yourself well we shall carry you in our wing i say we shall carry you in our wing and fly until we reach heaven until we enter there you will be there you will be there this movement is a mystery to satan before he will want to understand we have gone praise the lord of course we have the challenge the ignorant world jesus is already coming and the world is ignorant our environment is ignorant we have the challenge the backsliding church that jesus is on the way and see the church is backslidden backslidden and we have the challenge yes satan with diverse activities hardening the world pulling down the church these challenges are there it is the dark side but the advice of the lord to us the advice of the departed saints to us is look on the brighter side i say look on the brighter side look there light is shining and that light will cover you that light will guide you that light will lead you there god's promises for the end time despite the darkness of the left hand there is the brightness of the right hand god has made provision for the end time yes he has his plan met up he will save mankind for the last time he will preserve the saints on the earth till he comes for them that's his plan yes god will pour his spirit upon all flesh for greater ministry you you have come here i told you you know as the choir our, our leaders the women leaders sang it's wonderful it's going to be great you will become a great minister it is part of divine plan for the end time this conference is for you the lord has brought you here to fashion you 
the Lord has brought you here to transform you. The Lord has brought you here to anoint you. He is changing your title. Hallelujah. Listen to what he said in the book of Jewel. Chapter 2. Verse 28. Joel chapter 2. Joel after Hosea. Joel chapter 2 verse 28. Verse 20 and 29. And it shall come to pass afterward. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. We are in the end time. And we are in the end of the end. We are in the end of the end. There is the spirit promise for the end of the end. They are being poured out in measures, in measures, in measures. The Lord is pouring his spirit for last time walk. The Lord is going to pour down the Holy Ghost. Special anointing for the last time walk. And the Lord has chosen you. The God of heaven felt that you are okay for him to use for this business to pour his spirit upon your life. So, get ready for the power of the Holy Ghost. Get ready for anointing of the Holy Ghost. Wow! He wants you to prophesy. You will prophesy. You will stand upon the mountains and prophesy. You will climb up on top of houses and prophesy. You will go in vehicles and prophesy. The Lord wants you to prophesy. By your prophecy, prophecy, there shall be last time salvation. There shall be world revival. In the name of Jesus. That's what God will do. Again. As for this gospel, he said, this gospel, God has planned it. It shall be preached in all the world. It shall be preached in all the world. Our brother, one of the coordinators, shared with me today about the revelation God gave him yesterday. He was talking about God, Jesus was taking us, that the Holy Spirit was the driver. We were passing through Africa. Crowds of people were following. And then we moved. We went to Asia. Crowds of people were following. That's the last day revival. And that's how we turned America and Europe. And even to... Uh, to where, where, where did he say? So, Australia. He said... When he saw the crowd in Australia, the Lord said, I will do something special in this continent. Amen. 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 And these are the people anointing is coming upon. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's what the Lord is going to do. Yes. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Look at it. In the book of Matthew chapter 24. Matthew. This gospel. Of the kingdom. Shall be preached. In all the world. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom. Shall be preached in all the world. For a witness. Unto all nations. And then. Shall the end come. Some of you think when they say this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, you think that everybody will repent in the world. No. As a witness unto them. Not that everybody will repent. No. 
few shall be saved but it shall be preached the Lord shall gather his own those who shall hear in all this world yes and then he shall rapture them to heaven and this thing you're thinking is love don't think like that anymore don't think like that anymore think it now zoom it to yourself and see it as if you can touch it that is how it is again the devil is doing his worst there's wisdom the God of heaven is the God of wisdom he said the days shall be shortened the days shall be shortened don't think that satanic activity will envelop everywhere no there shall be provision for god for the people of god and god will stay satan such that he will not have access to you and he will quickly remove you The days shall be shortened. A woman was asking God for the conversion of the mother. God save my mother. God save my mother. The Lord heard her. And the Lord said, listen. I am going to save your mother. But when I save your mother, he sh she shall not live long. She will die. I will take her immediately because if he stays longer if she stays longer they will overpower her that is god he thinks as man also just in the language of man it's just as he said if i take these people if i take these people in a short course to the promised land they will face a lot of battles and many will not be able to stand i will take them by the way of the wilderness because i want to preserve them so listen to what he says in the book of matthew chapter 20 4 verse 22 the bible says let me be let me read from verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no not no no ever shall be and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened yes human beings are entering into covenant with satan the plan is to swallow up righteousness in every corner of the earth they want to make sure educational system is so fully handed over to satan that no righteous child passes to school undefiled they want to make sure the market system is so fully handed over to Satan so that no single man can pass through business undefiled. They want to make sure that the medical, the, the hospital system is so polluted that no person comes to the hospital and gets away from there undefiled they are still working because they are beating their hands on their church saying righteousness shall soon disappear from the earth they don't know the plan of god they shall finish their plan but we shall not be on the earth by that time when the devil will not say yes we are finished let's go the, ch the church is up he said those days shall be shortened if those days were not shortened even the very elect 
even those who are born again, sanctified and holy, the preacher shall be so much. The preacher shall be so much. Let not the lot of the righteous land in the in the lot of the right of the, of the wicked. Be in the in the lot of the righteous. Lest the righteous will put forth his hand to do evil. Preacher, preacher. Yes, the the, the man of God said. Let me not be poor, Lord, lest I steal and blaspheme your name. Let me not be poor. The circumstance can come so terrible. But the Lord says, I will cut short the time. I will cut short the time. Blessed God, some of you, the Lord will give you this grace by your dying. Before, your, before the enemy thinks he has polluted you, you are gone. The rest of us is in the rapture. I say the rapture. Everybody shout the rapture. Say it again. Shout it again. It shall soon come. We shall not be seen again. In the twinkling of an hour, the trumpet shall sound. So the Lord shall cut short. Now, there is a plan. Why is God calling you? Why has he raised up a movement like this? Why has he organized this conference specially for you? It's because there is a remnant that shall be served. The last set of people are still there that shall be served. They are called the remnant. That is the remaining few. These ones shall be served. Look at it in the book of Ezekiel chapter 6. Ezekiel. Chapter 6. Verse 8. Ezekiel chapter 6 verse 8. Yet will I leave a remnant that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations who ye shall be scattered through the countries I will leave a remnant that shall escape the sword there shall be people that shall escape this evil of the devil there shall be children youths and adults men women they are the Lord has seen them there are people that are sighing they are few but they are there they shall be saved that is why the Lord is raising up people for end time revival the last walk there are still some churches that can be revived there are still some churches that can be revived they will still hear they will hear I heard of a church where just recently that okay I think it's in Inigo State that the pastor had this world in one of our crusades I said wonderful when he had it he took it to his church will my people scatter if I preach this will they run away that was his fear but the Lord has spoken. Who will not speak? We cannot but speak the things we have heard and seen. He went to his church and declared it. He declared this truth. When he preached it, what of holiness, righteousness and holiness to him. Maybe he was doing shivering. These people will scatter. The church rose up and said, Pastor, that's what we'll be waiting for you. We read. That is what we need. We shall go with it. We shall go with it. And a line about 12 women from that church is here now. Are you here from Isoka? Can you wave your hand? You are one of them. You are one of them. Uh -huh.
can you uh, you're, you're one of those churches can you wash your hand away can you stand up let them let them know stand up if you're one of them again yes stand up aha wash your hand more a real man shall be saved you can sit down that is what is happening the people go lose their death that's why he's raising you up he said you're going to do a final work before the rapture will take place he is raising you up for anointing he's raising you up for power he will equip you to go and bring this for other sheep are fine also that are not of this fold then also i must bring that there may be one fold having one shepherd that's the promise of god yes now remember your theme in born for end time revival <coughs> where the women <coughs> bounded themselves and said this revival must come where the women stand up let everybody see you you are together you're bounded yourselves women that have bounded themselves and said there must be end time revival there must be revival in the world in the church in every community Churches will change. Nations will bow to the truth. Hallelujah. May the Lord lay hand upon you. May the Lord pour his spirit upon you. You can sit down. Women in born for end time revival. We need a revival. End time revival. Souls must be saved from pending hellfire. The church must arise to Christ's truth. They must be restored to his righteousness and holiness. Satan must be bound. And a remnant must be saved and preserved for the Lord, for the rapture. This must happen. And that's why the first thing the Lord is calling you to do is prayer. He's calling you for prayer. Come and pray. In the book of Isaiah chapter 62 Isaiah chapter 62 verse 1 to verse 6 for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burneth and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name the six have set watchmen upon thy walls O Jerusalem who shall never hold their peace day nor night yea the meek mention of the Lord keep not silence and give him new rest till he establish until he meet Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord wants to do special thing in the earth. In the church. He wants to do special work in the church. He wants to do special thing in the world. Last time harvest. Last time harvest. The final revival. The final in gathering. In preparation for the rapture. So that's why he wants prayer warriors he has called you to pray to, to pray that he, he would do something for God wants prayer he limited himself he limits himself in some cases to prayers he said pray pray I will hear you I know what I want to do but you pray I know what to do for those people but you pray I know how to enter into that mission but you pray I know how to enter into that tribe and cause my salvation there but you pray I know how to enter into that church and pray and cause transformation in that church and pull down the walls of darkness in that church but you pray the Lord is calling for prayer yes I know what to do in that religion I know how to to break the, the backbone of that religion but I want you to pray I will hear you call upon me and I will answer you 
I will do wonders. I will do great things. Marvelous things in your eyes. So the Lord is calling for prayer warriors. Prayer warriors that will pray in final revival. Last time revival. That is why you are here. That is why you are here. Receive your calling. I said receive your calling. The Lord wants you to pray. Let the spirit of prayer come upon you. Let the spirit of prayer come upon you. Let the Lord breathe the spirit of prayer in your life. In the name of Jesus. The prayer that will bring about conversion in America. The prayer that will bring about revival in Europe. The prayer that will bring about great salvation in Africa. The prayer that will cause the light of God to shine in Asia. Pray. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. For final revival. For final revival. Hallelujah. Again. God is calling for his daughters to arise. As in the days of Deborah. In the days of Deborah. Why? The men are afraid. The men are away. The men are asleep. That's why God is calling to women. You are created with dignity. Your God recognizes you. Since men are afraid. Since men are away from the church. You don't see them in the church. You don't see them. You don't see them zealous anymore. Since the men are asleep and have given chance to the devil. The Lord has turned to say, where are my daughters? Where are my daughters? Where are my daughters? Where are my daughters? As in the days of Deborah. I say, as in the days of Deborah. You will rise up and do great things. You will rise up and do great things. In the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in the book of Judges, chapter 5. Judges, chapter 5. Deborah sang a song. The song of Deborah. Because in her day, the men were afraid. In her day, the men were away. In her day, the men were asleep. Listen to what he said. She said in the chapter one, chapter five, verse one and two. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinoam, on that day, saying, "Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel, when the people willingly offered themselves." Now he said in verse five, "The mountains melted from before the Lord." Even that Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel in the days of Shamda, the son of Anab, in the days of Jael, the highways were unoccupied, and the travelers walked through byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased, they ceased in Israel until that I, Deborah, arose. That I arose a mother in Israel. It is your time to arise. It is your time to arise. Because the men have sold the church to Satan. They have gone for magic. They have gone for money. They have gone for other things. They are corrupting the church. They are making covenants with Satan. So they're selling people to hell. God says you should arise, Deborah. Awake. Awake. Let the spirit of Deborah come upon you. The Lord is pouring the spirit of Deborah upon you. You will be a great judge. You will be a great warrior. You will be a great victory. You will recover the church. I say you will recover the church women. You will recover the church women. You will bring revival to the world. That is what the Lord is saying. The few men that are there cannot suffice for the great harvest. 
The burden is too great for them. The Moseses that are leading the war are complaining. Can I, can, 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 they are complaining. Can I do all these things alone? The few men that are there says the fellow men are not there. The fellow men, the people, the few men are there. The fellow men have gone after Satan. They have gone away. They are afraid. They, they, they have, but the devil has chased them. They have entered into contact with Satan. The few that are there, the burden is too much. Like that of Moses. Oh Lord, did I give birth to all these people? Why have you put the burden upon me alone? The people are not there. Now the women are there. Women, are you there? Yeah. The Lord has come to you. Yeah. I said the Lord has come to you. Yeah. Revival must come. Yeah. Revival must come. Yeah. Revival must come. Yeah. Yes, that is what the Lord is saying. That's what God is doing. Yes, away, Deborah of our generation. Away, ye daughters of the Lord. Away, ye mothers and sisters in the church. Arise and play your part. For the game is you now. The game is you now. We're watching you. I said we're watching you. Angels are watching you. Angels are watching you. The devil that despises you shall fear you. The devil that says, who are you? You are you. You are just a common woman. He shall be set on the run. Yeah. Hallelujah! That's what the Lord will do for you. That's what the Lord will do for you. Yes! Go, recover the limb. Go, recover the truth. Go, recover righteousness. Go, recover holiness. Yes! To usher in the coming of Jesus. Take the risk. Esther, our eyes are upon you. Esther, Esther, Esther. Are you there? Are you there? Take the risk. I said, take the risk. At your life expense, take the risk. These people must be delivered. Take the risk. The devil must be overcome. Take the risk. The Haman and all his plots. Haman and all his people. They shall be wiped out. The people in Shushan. They shall become Jews. They shall become Christians. The people in your community. They shall become Christians. I said take the risk. Are you ready to take the risk? They, the Lord shall be with you. The Lord shall be with you. The Lord shall be with you. You will cut off the head of the Goliath. Pharaoh shall bow before you. Rise up upon your feet. You are taking the risk. It's not time. The women must go for this walk. Women must go for the Lord. You must go for the Lord. You are a vessel unto God. He has made you for himself. And the days of your walk has come. The days of your performance. The days of your glory is time now. You will give glory to your creator. You will give glory to your creator. The men are afraid. The men are away. The men, yes, the men are asleep. The few that are there, the burden is too much for them. Rise up and walk. Open your mouth and say, Lord, here am I. Here am I. Here am I. Here am I. We shall bring for revival. We shall bring for revival. We shall walk. We shall walk. We shall walk. We shall bring for revival. And then the end shall come. I had the voice of the Lord And he said, here am I, send me As I had the voice of the Lord And he said, here am I, send me Here am I Say 
Tueni Tueni I will go If I have the voice of the Lord And he said Here am I Send me As I had the voice of the Lord And he said Here am I Send me Here am I Send me To anyone I will go voice of the Lord and they said here are we send us the women had the voice of the Lord and they said here are we send us here are we send us to everywhere and we will go the women had the voice of the Lord and they said here are we sing the woman had the voice of the Lord and she said here am I send me the woman had the voice of the Lord and she said here am I send me here am I send me to everywhere I will go The woman had the voice of the Lord And she said Here am I send me The woman had the voice of the Lord And she said Here am I send me here am I, send me to anyone, I will go. The woman had the voice of the Lord, and she said, here am I, send me. want to make intercession for you before the Lord just raise up your hand I'm making intercession for all the women that are before the Lord this day in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Almighty Father I commit these women unto you your daughters 
God Almighty, we are seeing that you are coming. The Lord Jesus is already on the way. We have known that we are the generation that will see the Lord come to take us in the rapture. Oh Lord, and the world lies majorly in ignorance. The church is backslidden. Lord, God, what a challenge! Satanic activities fill everywhere. The me are away. The me are afraid. The me are asleep. Lord, the few that are there are saying the work is too much for them. God, turn to your women. Lord, turn to the women. Let the power of the Lord come upon the women. Take them over. 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 In the name of Jesus. Like in the days of Deborah. When the men were afraid to walk on, on the highways. They were because of their enemies. They were hiding on bush park. The men were afraid. None to lead the people up until Deborah arose. I pray for special anointing. For Deborah's that are here. Special anointing. Special anointing. Let the borrowers of the Lord receive anointing of God. Receive. Receive anointing. Let the anointing of God rest upon you. Let the power of God rest upon you. Let the anointing rest upon you. Let the grace of God rest upon you. Let the power of God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Anointing. 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 Receive. 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 In the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, in their corner, in their churches, in their denominations, wherever they are, revival shall, shall spring up. Revival shall spring up. Oh God, receive the women. Receive the women. In the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the grace of God. Let your eyes open. Let understanding be given you. Receive the wisdom of the gospel. Receive power over devils. Power over Satan. Receive the power of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and thank the Lord. Lift up your voice and worship the Lord. The Lord has enrolled you. The Lord has enrolled you. He has counted you in the number. He has counted you in the number. The Lord has put his spirit upon your law. Wonderful. Wonderful. Time. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches 
and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
Yeah. 